as you can no doubt tell from the weird shadow over here, it is late and therefore half of the light is artificial with a lamp that I'm using that's over there because I didn't have anywhere else to put it aside from on my fridge, which is against the wall. Whatever, I'm gonna get to the point of the video. So the reason why it is so very late right now is that I have spent all day doing homework and I will spend most of tomorrow doing homework as well. And that is because school. To continue with this school theme, I bring you my list of 10 books, which are on my list to read, but because of school, will most likely never get read. This list is in no particular order, and yes, I guarantee you that I have really not read any of the books on this list. Number one, All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher, which is actually right here. It's off screen because my camera's a prat. Hang on. One camera shift later, it's right here, because I own it. I just haven't gotten around to reading it. Number two, Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I have no idea what this book even is, but a friend recommended it to me, so I put it on my list. Three, every book Maureen Johnson ever wrote because she's awesome. Number four, The Raven Cycle by Maggie, whose last name I can't pronounce. I'll write it across the bottom. It's a series, so I guess this is kind of cheating. It's not really 10 books, it's 10 entities of book. And this has been recommended to me multiple times by multiple people, and I hear it has canon queer characters, so I'm all for it. Five, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I have tried to read this one multiple times, and my attempts have been foiled every single time, one of them because the book was borrowed from a library in a country that I did not live. Number six, 1984 by George Orwell. I did read Animal Farm in sixth grade and I loved it, but when I started 1984 I was way too young to understand it or even really be comfortable reading it, so I put it down and I just haven't picked it back up yet. Seven, Lord of the Flies by William Golding. I've heard a lot of good things about this one, but for some reason I always confuse it with The Catcher in the Rye. Number eight, The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I've heard lots of good things about this one, but for some reason I always confuse it with The Lord of the Flies. Number Number nine, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I have never read this one because my mother, who many of you may know is a librarian and a middle school librarian at that, said she doesn't like it and she never dislikes a book, ever. And so I trusted her on that, but I feel once I have embarked on the greater world of college education that I should probably know what everyone's talking about, so I will read it at some point. I hear it's like two pages long, so it shouldn't be too much trouble. Tenth and finally, as I said, this is in no particular order, Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. I don't even know what this book is about, but I'm assuming it has something to do with baseball because that is a sport in which a player with a number 22 could catch something. I forgot to do my wrap-up thing in my last few videos, but I'm changing that now. So, I know many gaping holes in my reading repertoire, and there are so many more of them that just I forgot about in this moment or was too embarrassed to mention. So many classics that I am so embarrassed to say I have never read. What are some classic and or well-known books that you haven't read? Let me know down in the comments. That's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe if you want to see more like it. I hope you are having a beautiful Sunday and I will see you next week. Bye!